increases. So in ath athletic endurance athletes um, and uh, other like uh, marathon runners and long distance triathlon um, athletes, there are only a few studies um, that are shown to be helpful. And there's a number that show no difference or change. But the couple that have been shown to have favorable results is one strain called lactobacillus fermentum. And it's in one endurance um, study, it actually decreased the incidence of respiratory infection. Um, I think by almost cut in half almost. And what they checked were biomarkers of, immune, of the immune system, and they increased many of them. And then same with, have you seen Yakult? It's in a lot of Asian restaurants and Asian markets now. There's a lot of sugar. I'm not sure how great that is. But this is a really great thing. My kids love it. Um, I grew up eating it. It's called Lactobacillus casei Sharota. And there's actually a lot of good studies with this strain. It does a lot of wonderful things. It seals the gut, improves immunity. So one study, they looked at athletes um, endurance, I think runners in this one, four months in the winter season, a lot of the immune markers went up, including secretory IgA, which is protective in both the mouth and the gut, and they have much less respiratory symptoms and GI symptoms. Uh, one I didn't put up here is called Lactobacillus rhamnosus. I'm going to talk about a product that I had to formulate because I couldn't find good products out there, but rhamnosus has been shown in all kinds of studies for people who travel, and it reduces diarrhea related to traveling diarrhea. And then another case I, um, all these have different names because they come from different um, sources and they may act a little differently. But Lactobacillus case I, not the Schroeder strain, they looked in army cadets and put them under three weeks of training. They felt that the study was probably too short to really see changes, but it improved immune markers, no change in infection. So I had to formulate actually my own because um, I couldn't find a lot on the market. So you can go to my website, thegutinstitute.com. You can find a lot of the studies. This reduces uh, gliadin-related enteropathy. So I have a case where actually people really get great um, tolerance for food, even gluten, dairy, and mycotoxins. And I have one case where he can eat gluten again. My family and I, we eat gluten again. Because what happens is a lot of these strains, they break down gliadin and gluten for us. And you probably have met the New Belgium beer. I did a tasting earlier. <laughs> but, um, it's actually gluten-free, even though they use barley. They applied a strain of bacteria, and it broke down gliadin gluten, so there's only one part per million of gliadin. So that can, is what can happen to our gut. I don't believe in this like, paleo bubble, um, because occasionally, you know, if you get exposed, you don't want to have an anaphylactic reaction or super bloating, right? So the bacteria is the key. They, they help us to do what we need to do, no matter what. And then one probiotic, which is awesome, called Sound Probiotics. They have some of the strains I mentioned earlier. It's 25 billion, and it's been used in a lot of different athletes.